Okay, I'm just going to do a quick little repair guide on a Leveno G500. <clears throat> this is for a screen replacement. If you are as unfortunate as I am and have dropped it, you are going to need to replace the screen. And if you don't want to spend money on getting it professionally done, it is a lot cheaper and not as hard as they may tell you it is to do it yourself. As you can see here, the screen has been busted, so it has to be replaced. So the first thing you want to make sure you do is unplug any cords that you have and that you remove the battery, which is just done by unlocking it and sliding over the switch, pulling the battery out. So the first thing you're going to need to do is remove the faceplate from the front of the screen. Now on the G500 there are no screws, but in some of the other models you'll see you'll find little rubber feet, usually down around this area. And if you pop those rubber feet off, there'll be little screws behind there. You just unscrew those and then gently get your fingers in behind the bevel and pull it until you hear those snaps. And then you just do that all the way around. If you come across any spots that don't want to come undone, you can just move on and come back to them later. So just keep popping them, popping them up. That one doesn't want to go, so we'll try another one. And once you've got all of those done, let's get that one more. It should lift right out. And you can see there will be six screws that you need to first take off and then there will be two on the bottom of each corner as you can see them right here one and two and the same in this corner there's one here and one right there so you take those two bottom ones the two top ones and that will release the back of your laptop screen from the actual screen itself and they come out fairly easy and just make sure you don't lose them there's one and then two down this corner and then two in this corner and then one more in this top corner and as I said earlier that will release the actual back plastic piece of the laptop from the screen itself as you can see now your next step is to remove the side screws from the bracket which holds the screen itself in. And there are six screws that will hold in the actual screen in this bracket. And as you can see there's three that run down each side. One, two, and three. And you just remove those. There's the first three. And once you remove those screens, or those screws, I'm sorry, the screen it comes right out from the bracket. So you can see there were three screws down this side and three screws down the side of this bracket, which hold the actual screen itself in place. Now, once you get the screen out from the bracket, as you can see right here, there is some adhesive tape that holds down the actual connector so what you want to do next is make sure you gently peel back this tape and unplug the connector so gently peel back the tape and unplug the connector so remove
the actual broken screen. So after that, you get your new screen. And take that connecting pin again and just plug it in. So once you slide this pin just back up into the bracket, you can reattach the tape just to hold it in place so it keeps it from moving. And then after you have it plugged back in, just re screw it back into its brackets. Second screw. And they don't need to go in tight. I mean, just hand tight. You don't need to refund them. No need to. And putting this screen back into the bracket is actually going to be quote unquote the hardest part of this whole installation. There we go, the screen is now back into the bracket. Once you have your screen back into the bracket, just replace the six screws that attach the back of the actual laptop to the screen itself again. And that's two in the bottom, one here and one here. One on the top, which is here. One on the other side at the top, which is right there. And two at the bottom on the other side. And there you have it. The screen is now back in its bracket. The bracket is now attached to the back of the laptop. And the only thing left to do is to reattach the bevel, which just snaps right back on. You can see it has these little feet. You just make sure they go in first over top of your hinge on either side. And then you just push it and snap it back together. And you should hear it snap right together as you push. Just don't push too hard. And there you go. The screen is now replaced. You've saved yourself hundreds of dollars worth of quote unquote professional labor. And then all that's left to do is replace the battery. Lock it if you wish. And that is just about that, guys. So now all that's left is to turn it back on to ensure that it is working. And there you go. That is the screen replacement repair guide of the Lavino G500.